way to start off is to is to talk about the video clip. Tell us a little bit about the video clip that you guys um, have released today, and and a little bit about how it's all come about. So the video release is kind of like it's kind of a pause of reflection for us as a band. Like, um, uh, how do I explain this? Um, shit, the words aren't coming to my mouth right now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we did a couple of the last year, and the year before, and we wanted to capture all of that so that we could show the people that are listening to us what, what it's like, what our relationship with each other are like, and, and all that kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. Show, show the fun side, I suppose. <laughs> it, it, what was it like looking back over that time? Because you guys have achieved so much in such a short period of time, so what was it like looking back and kind of reflecting on those times. Um, oh man, it, it was awesome, mate. Like, you know, as as a band, you know, you always go through hard times and stressful times like that. And and being able to look at that, it just reminds you of you know why you do it, and you know that you that we really love what we do, and and that we've got such great friendships with each other, and you know that's really important to me. And you guys have done amazing things like um, touring alongside international acts and things like that. What, for you personally, has been the biggest highlight of the band's past so far, and and why is that the highlight for you? I guess I guess the biggest highlight for me was probably opening up for Blindspot, which is one of New Zealand's probably biggest rock bands out. You know, they yeah. were they were a family favorite. Years ago, for me, when I was a kid, you know, I used to wait to to watch their videos on the top forty <laughs> on the TV when I was a little kid. So yeah, yeah it was pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I've got tongue tied a few times when I've been backstage at a gig and one of my idols has walked past. What was that like for you, being backstage with the guys from Blind Spot? Was there, was it awkward or did you guys kind of just be over excited for for being able to have that experience? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know the exact feeling you're talking about, bro. I was I was pretty nervous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got pretty tongue tied. It was a little awkward, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, the, the, those feelings kind of disappeared once we had played the show, though. So. Yeah, yeah. So, so tell us a little bit about where you guys are at at the moment. Like this video clip is is a reflection, but where are you guys at at the moment? Are you guys working on new material that you hope to have come out in the future, or yeah, where are you yeah, at right yeah. now? Yeah. So apart from the zero video, we've actually been working on a lot of new new material. We've been writing heaps. We've actually got heaps of new songs that we're working on. <laughs> yeah. We're taking our time with it though. Cause you know, we, we don't, we don't want to re- release something half assed and, and we want to put out the best that we can do and really show people, you know, what we're about. And yeah, so there's a bunch of new music. We just thought since we had all this footage from the, from the previous tours, we should do something. And, and yeah. How much footage did you actually have to go through? And like, cause that can be a big job in itself. If there's a lot of footage, I honestly have no idea because I, I'm not the one who, who, who edits all the videos and stuff like that. Yeah. We've, we've got a, a good friend who's been there from the start. His name's Josh Day. Yeah. And um, he lives in Wellington, but he's from Wamanui. But he's been, like, part of the band since we started. You know, he's always, he's a fly on the wall, basically. He's on all our group chats and always helping us out with admin and stuff like that. So, really, I'd have to ask him because I have no idea. But I imagine it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys kind of give him, like, a premise that you wanted for the video, though? Or did you kind of leave it open-ended for him and just say that you wanted it to be a reflection of where you guys had, had come from? Honestly, we at the start, we just said, you know, we trust you, bro. Show us what you can do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and what he came back with was perfect. Yeah, definitely. And, like, how do you feel about that track Zero? Like, that track took off online um, in a way that a lot of people didn't predict. So how do you guys feel about that track and about the reception that it got online as well? Well, when we when we wrote Zero, it was kind of like a point where we, where we were like, yeah, 
we're starting to get our own sound now and we were quite excited about that track so i kind of thought that it would be a popular track so um you know i wasn't too surprised but um also very thankful you know to the people listening to it and yeah yeah (laughs) So what are you guys doing now you're in lockdown? You admitted, you said before that you had started to write some new material. How does going into lockdown now affect that? Or does it actually enhance that because you get more of a chance to write? Well, to be honest, it's kind of put things on pause for a little while because, um, like, my drum kit doesn't live at home. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't even, I can't even play the drums, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been, um, so yeah, it's not been ideal, um, but it's given us a chance to really put some effort into the release of this video. Yeah. So that's that's kind of what I've been sinking my teeth into. Um, more of the admin side of things, learning a bit more about you know how to go about releases and reviews and all that kind of stuff. So that's that's been positive. Yeah. yeah. And personally, how do you feel like being in lockdown? Like I was just saying to someone this morning that. For the first couple of days, it was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, I've they've set a, a radio studio up for me at home. I can walk from my bedroom to my studio and start work straight away. But now I'm starting to get a little bit of cabin fever and I want to get outside. Um, how are oh, you yeah. feeling about that? Uh, to be honest, I started going crazy after the first couple of days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I can't really work from home because... Yeah, I yeah I work at a plumbing store usually. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're all sitting home, so you're going a bit crazy, but you know you got to try and find the positives. Yeah, definitely. And then yeah. you, you mentioned the new music before. Have you guys kind of got a timeline for when you want to get that out? And what are your plans at that time? Will it be a new album, a new EP, or yeah, what are you guys planning to do with that new material? Honestly, I'm not a hundred percent sure. We, we, we do have an, uh, a new track that is close to being finished called The Machine. And um, I think with that one, we're probably going to release it as a single. And potentially there's talk of doing some sort of animated music video or something like that. But honestly, I'm not sure of the timeline of it, you know, considering the situation we're in at the moment. Yeah, yeah. We can't really work, we can't really work on it too much at the moment, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It- is there any plans that maybe when everything gets back to normal that you guys might do an Australian tour at some stage? Because, yeah, I think your music is something that a lot of Aussies would instantly fall in love with if they saw you guys live. Oh, awesome. Yeah, no, definitely. I've wanted to plan something over in Australia because our singer's actually from there. He's yep. born, and born and bred Aussie from Townsville. <laughs> and he's got a lot of family and friends over there. So, you know, it makes sense to... Um, to you know start trying to put a footprint over there as well yeah definitely and with yeah. the with the new material that you were talking about what kind of things has been inspiring you guys when you've been working on that like there's like you said this has been a time of reflection have you guys has that also influenced what you're writing at the moment as well while you've been reflecting on the past um i don't really know like how we get inspiration is and how we write is, is all about jamming, eh? Yeah. Like, we basically all get together in a room and someone plays something and then we all start playing along and if, if, if you know, a, a gem comes out, then we'll work on that and, yeah, I don't know, yeah, it's pretty weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I guess the big thing now is the video is dropping today. What would you like to say to your fans out there before they sit down and watch the video? Um, just check it out, share it with your friends, enjoy it, join us on our journey and yeah. Awesome. Say hey. (laughs) Well, mate.